<laughs> Zalter. Uh, Jabalta was one of the first characters. He was the yeah, the first the first the char- first character. Yeah, the he first character probably went through the most visual changes, art style wise. He was very military Titanfall two yeah, look, yeah. and like he's definitely kept a lot of like yeah. that just like with the packs on him and everything. Yeah. You know, once we decided we were making a character game and we wanted to like mm-hmm. branch out into like more interesting characters than just yeah. military characters. I named him Gibraltar and I fought for because for a while nobody thought that the name Gibraltar was like nobody will be able to remember that name. But I, I, <laughs> I, I pushed for it. And I feel like Manny may have made him uh, Polynesian initially because of the rock of Gibraltar. I think right, it may have right. been a Dwayne the Rock Johnson reference. Right. For a while there was talk of him being Maori, there was talk of him being Samoan, and then we sort of decided that we wanted to sort of cover as many of, of sort of the Pacific Islands as possible. In and of itself, I think it's its own cultural continent that's not widely represented in many games, yeah. and so I think bringing it to this was just important. Yeah. We don't just want it to be an accent or, or, or that sort of thing. Right, like, right. Like you, things, you, you don't want it to be just surface level comical. Yeah, it, it, yeah. yeah. and so things ha- like the Patu or Mare Club, the, the Jade or Whalebone War yeah. Club, we sort of talked about things like the Haka and the significance of those because it's such a, I think, important part of those cultures and those warrior traditions and all of those things. Gibraltar is a warrior in a lot yeah. of ways. And yeah. you know, speaking to matching you know, personality to gameplay, mm-hmm. so that character is definitely a shield for the team, mm-hmm. right? Yes. Uh, like very protective of the team, yes. and like so. When my senior writer Manny went out to write him, he created this whole backstory about mm-hmm. Saris, which is the a search and uh, search and rescue, yeah. search and rescue association of Solace, which Solace is a planet. His parents like grew up mm-hmm. like basically saving people, and when him and his boyfriend got into a motorcycle mm-hmm. accident, his dad lost his arm yeah. to save him, and that really touched him. So mm-hmm. when he grew up. You know what I mean? That like stuck with him, and like many even created a motto for this imaginary yeah. search and rescue organization, which is the shield to protect those in need. Yes, and that yeah. very much so matches Gibraltar's personality, mm-hmm. right? Like he's a warrior, he's a fighter. Yeah. But first and foremost, personality. He's protecting. He, he's people. a protector. He yeah. likes protecting people. Yeah. Right. Over the course of the character's development, like a lot of people drew parallels between Bangalore's bombardment and Gibraltar's bombardment, but I do feel like in the final shipping game, they they fill two fundamentally different roles because it's meant to work in. Yeah, with your with dome. your shields. So if you yeah. if you throw the bombardment and then drop the thing, you can do a hammer hammer and anvil tactic where you can basically create an exclusion zone that pushes people away. And during that fifteen seconds, or you can heal. Pushes them into or, your yeah, shield. Yeah, they, they have to pick. <laughs> they have to pick one. Yeah. They either have to to basically step into the ring or back off. Right. Yeah. Uh, the character is a character that tries to maintain distance and spacing. It's very important for you to have like. Uh, sniper battles because of the shield. You always like if if they fire and you fire at the same time. They're gonna hit your shield and break your shield, and you're gonna destroy, destroy them. them. Yeah. yeah. Some people, Some people want to push them, but you shouldn't them. actually. So Gibraltar yeah. and Caustic are both defensive characters. Yes. Yeah. But whereas Caustic wants you to come in close to him. Yeah. Gibraltar right? wants, wants, you to, wants to keep you. Wants at to bay. keep you. Yeah. So the best yeah. way to play Gibraltar actually is as a long range defensive yeah. character. Yeah. You play backfield, and if you. You know, if something goes wrong, you have tools for doing damage control. You can throw the bombardment out and uh, block a zone where people are coming in. You can cut people's retreats off. You could, if you're in a building, you can drop it on the house. Like um, watching people play Caustic Lifeline, Gibraltar. Like people, Caustic will block all the doors, Uh, and Lifeline will heal, and Gibraltar will peek windows. And if a squad gets too aggro, tries to push in, like say the first floor, they're like, "Oh, there's caustic gas here," and then Gibraltar's like, "And there's also a bombardment (laughs) outside." So either come in with us or, or, or like get screwed, or yeah. get screwed and so like it's it's very much uh gives you a lot of flexibility for forcing people's hands and as the meta uh, evolves there's going to be more room for tactical gameplay and ability usage and basically forcing people who may be better shots than you into, into bad bad positions, bad positions yeah. and leveraging that that sort of strategic high level to win matches that you you wouldn't be able to win in a heads-up gunfight. Yeah.